we are logged into web admin here we have two hosts we will be using here we have two virtual machines we'll start with this one this virtual machine has one NIC uh, there is over the management network assigned to this NIC and this network use over management VNIC profile let's look at it here network over the management network and there are two VNIC profiles for this network we talk about over management VNIC profile this profile is configured to not use SRV pass through if we want to use it we need to tick this checkbox it's only possible to tick it if there isn't any NIC in any virtual machine which uses this uh, VNIC profile so if we want to enable it we need to remove the NIC from the virtual machine we saw before and then tick this checkbox and add the, uh, the NIC back if we look at another VNIC profile which is configured to use SRV so like this the password is enabled and here we have new field which we can tick or untick <coughs> if migratable is selected it means that virtual machine with password NIC will be allowed to be migrated if this is not ticked the migration of such virtual machines will not be possible we'll see that later let's start with migration using weird ionix for that we will be using vnic profile named over management uh, this VNIC profile is used in virtual machine name VM1, which I powered up and logged into it. We will be pinging this dev 07 to see if there is any disruption in connectivity during migration. So let's start that. And we'll start migration. We see that migration started and in few moments it should be successfully migrated so migration completed we didn't see any disruption we see that the connection is still live now uh, we want to do site migration but using SIOINIC to do that we need to switch the VNIC profile to SIOV so we know we are using the over the management VNIC profile so we will edit it and uh, set it as to, to um, SRV pass through mode so let's click edit and we see that we cannot select pass through as mentioned earlier that's because there is a vnic which is using this profile so let's cancel it go to virtual machines power off this virtual machine now we go to this nix we'll remove this nick back to vnic profiles in here we can now tick the pass through now if we do not tick migratable let's try that we should should not be able to migrate this should be blocked so let's try that confirm back to virtual machine we need to add nick 
see that we are using uh, different no, no it, it's not a virtual but there is a PCI pass through because we change setting of this profile sounds good it uh, we will power up this machine and now when the virtual machine is up we can try to do another migration and this migration should fail or be rejected because we are using the pass through nick but we didn't flag it as migratable so let's try that and we see the, the error can migrate virtual machine migration is not supported for vms containing non-migratable pass through okay so to fix this and overcome this we need to go back to Vinic profiles and mark this as migratable <coughs> and now we can try the, the same migration we did with the white ionic so let's log into this machine Now we will start pinging and we will see if there is any, any disruption in connectivity. What will happen? After migration, we should see that all we should see that all SROV NICs will be unplugged. Then the virtual machine will be migrated and these NICs will be plugged back again. And because of that, we should see some disruption in connectivity because only one SRV NIC is used. So let's try that. Now we start migration. We see here that the uh, name was unplugged, therefore we see the network was unreachable and after migration succeeded, there is a little bit delay. Now we see that migration completed and the uh, NIC was plugged back. But we saw this little time gap where the network in virtual machine was unreachable. To overcome this, we need to use a bond inside a virtual machine which will group together weird IO and SROV NICs. The weird IO will be used for maintaining the connectivity from the virtual machine while the SROV will be used for better performance. But while migration, while, while the virtual machine is migrated, there still will be a um, bit ionic as a uh, fallback. So now we will shut down the VM1 and try to set up with another virtual machine, which uses a bond. Now we have virtual machine 2 up and running. Uh, this machine uses two NICs, NIC1, which is with AONIC, and NIC2, which is SRV NIC. I log to this machine so we can investigate. Uh, we have created bond 1. Ah, yeah. So 
we have created a bot one and by default there is uh, nick l7 which is a server nick this is active by default for performance reasons uh, there are two slides the other slave is eth0 which is the active slave during migration because during migration the srvnic becomes unplugged okay so now we try the migration as we did it before and we will test if there is any disruption in connectivity so So we are the pinging and we will try another thing which is there's a little script which we will demonstrate which is the active slave how it change so uh point one if we start we see that the active slave is n7 uh, so now we will try the Migration. So migration started with unplugging SRVNIC. We see that the SRVNIC became unplugged and the ETH0 became active. Now we see that the N7, which is SRVNIC, was plugged back, which means that migration completed. During all of this, we didn't see any disruption in connectivity. So this is what we expected.